morning. I have missed this very much. Got supermarket. Got cafe. Got park. Got a bull fighting Toro Stadium thing. <clears throat> Just been going on a little morning walk. Got my journal. Had a an espresso and a pan con tomate. At a little cafe that I found. <clears throat> and it's honestly been really nice to get back into morning finding a or morning walking, finding a cafe, doing some journaling, just having some like alone time, time to process. I have been kind of sneaking out in the mornings and it's been good. <clears throat> There are a couple things that I wanted to share this morning. Figured I would try to make a video early in the day so I'm not <laughs> up late, you know, super tired. But yeah, there was one thing that I realized. <clears throat> that little bench here, little park. Uh, one thing that I realized this morning, kind of continuing the confidence conversation from last night. I realized that having a, what did I say, a social catalyst, what has made a big difference. I forget where it was. There was one instance in Berlin, Germany, and thinking, thinking. Uh, there might have been a couple others, but of <laughs> from last year, just not feeling like I could start a conversation and wanted some kind of social catalyst, some kind of event, some kind of gathering to like bring people together. And then once I could be in that situation, then I would, you know, be, feel more comfortable chatting with people and meeting people. And one thing I'm finding about <clears throat> this, this networking group that I'm in here is the fact that we've all like come together and we're all in the same group. We all have similar values, uh, similar mindset. I'm finding that conversations have been much easier and I felt a lot more comfortable meeting people and you know asking how they're doing what they're working on stuff like that and i think a big part of it has been the like the common the common shared experience the common group that we're in the the catalyst that we are that that has been started so i thought about the this morning i think it's making a big difference and what else? I showed you walking around, walking around the park, finding coffee shops. It's just, uh, it's just so different. It's so different and it's so nice. Just grab the journal, walk outside. You're two blocks, two blocks from supermarkets and cafes this pass by this one cafe is like super packed people uh outside inside at 8 30 just eating you know eating breakfast and i went to this cafe different one across and it's just a pleasure to walk around the streets are nice there's people everywhere so it's not like you're uh, you know alone in being a pedestrian anyway just very nice and I'm also finding that I don't know that I know more Spanish than I did last year maybe 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 I do because you learn a lot when you're like in it and have to interact with people and they're asking you you know do you want to sit outside or inside or like how do you want to pay that kind of stuff and yeah, so I, I think I, I do know more, but 
I've noticed a couple of instances, and I don't know, I don't know how much I can generalize this, but um, at the hotel in Malaga, I I don't remember if there was another instance, but when one of the Ubers came, uh, we were going to the train station or the bus station. Uber came, um, and we were like, oh. We had like six or eight people, and the Uber could fit four. And I was like, oh, cuatro personas. And I can't remember one of the one of the hotel staff that was like helping with bags and like carrying bags and stuff. Uh, he, after a couple other exchanges, he, he was like, uh, habla español. Do you speak Spanish? And I was like, ah, oh, a little bit. Um, and he said, you know, buen, buen viaje, viaje uh, you know, good trip, um, good luck, that kind of thing. And, <clears throat> and at this cafe this morning, I walked in and said, you know, buenos dias. And I've been finding that people don't, have not been defaulting to English I went to a supermarket. This was such a weird, this was such a, a weird moment. Let me, let me, let me finish the cafe and then I'll do the supermarket story. Um, uh, the, the woman working there, I can't remember what she said. Uh, I think she said, uh, do you want to sit outside? Like, you know, quieres sentarse afuera? something like that i i got the gist of it and i was like ah oh, see and then she said you know kate te pongo what what can i what can i get for you what can i bring you um and <clears throat> i i don't want to say that her mood changed because she knew i could i could understand spanish I don't know that I can make that claim, uh, but I just found that I had a good interaction with her, <clears throat> and and it was nice that she didn't default to English. That's I found I found that in a lot of places last year and in Southeast Asia, people would just like default to English, and. I like, I like that I'm, I feel like I've gotten, gotten to the point where I can, I can get by and it's fun. It's fun. Anyway, this supermarket. So we, we were, we were grabbing some scooters, riding around, around Malaga and <clears throat> we stopped in a supermarket and there were like four or five of us and uh, got some snacks. And they were checking, like all the other guys were checking out, and I was last. And the woman behind the register, um, like, kind of gave me a long look. And then, as I as I approached, I said, you know, buenas or something like that. And I don't I don't remember everything that she said, <laughs> and I wouldn't be able to translate it, but. Uh, she started checking me out, and then she said, um, do you want a bag, a bolsita? And I was like, no. And then I bought this yogurt. <laughs> I just, oh man, it takes me back. I bought this yogurt, and I was like, all right, well, I need a spoon. I need a spoon to eat this yogurt. And so I asked if she had any cucharas, any spoons, and... <clears throat> She kind of looked at me funny, like nobody ever asked me this, that kind of look. And <clears throat> I was like, I said something like, you know, para comer el yogurt or something. And uh, she said no, but the street or the, the store across the street had spoons and and so I was like ah 
really? And so I was like, ah, you know, I don't want this. Like, I, don't, I didn't know how to say return, but I was like, no, no quiero eso. And she, she put it back. But she said something like under her breath in Spanish. And I, it was what I got away from this was I, I got the impression that she knew that I at least understood some Spanish. And I think she said something in Spanish and I, I just don't know. I don't know what, I got the impression that, that I was, I didn't look like I was part of the rest of the group of guys who were not speaking English, who were speaking Spanish, or sorry, who were speaking English and not Spanish. And <clears throat> it was as if, it was like, oh, like you're a local, like I, uh, yeah, you know, look at this group of, of you know, tourists kind of thing. Um, that was like the impression that I got, but I heard, I didn't understand anything that she said. And so anyway, <laughs> I, uh, so I returned the yogurt and bought the rest of the food, went across the street, looked at the spoons and they were like packs of, you know, 10. And it brought me back to Paris, which is it's probably one of the most embarrassing stories <laughs> that I have to share. It's on my blog somewhere. Um, but I did a similar thing. It was like post-workout, went to a, a grocery store and bought a yogurt. And I was like, surely they have a single you know, use spoons. And, <clears throat> and I asked the guy and they had, they only had like packs of 10. And I was like, I just need a single spoon, you know? And then I was like, all right, I'll buy it. I went back to my hostel and they, they had like a cafe in the back, but you weren't allowed to eat, eat or bring your own food. And so I went back and I was like, hey, can I just grab a spoon for a quick sec? And the guy was like, no. <laughs> I was like, really? Like, I, I just can't, like, I just a single spoon, like, that's it? And he's like, no, I can't, I just can't, I can't do it. And I was like, what is going on here? Um, and so I ended up going back to the, it was like this super small supermarket thing. And I ended up going back and they're trying to return the yogurt and this is the part I, I feel the most embarrassed about is just like it was probably like two euros 35 or something like that and I was like I just didn't want to waste the yogurt <clears throat> but it became this like big thing back at the supermarket because like I don't know probably no, no one ever returns anything um, so I felt a little like a Karen kind of petty, but I didn't want to waste nine spoons and I also didn't want to waste the yogurt and I had no other way to eat this yogurt. And so I returned it and I was like, you know, they didn't know how to return and like the manager came out and I was like this, I was like, I just need a single spoon and like, I can't find the spoon. And so like, I just, I just don't want it. Just like, give it, you know, I, I don't want it. So anyway. Spoons in Europe. <laughs> anyway, that's my story for today. I'll see you tomorrow.